Hey YouTube, it's Eastman again with uh, an update on algae turf scrapers, which I've said I'd speak about. And um, I don't know if you can see that, but that is my DIY algae turf scraper, and it's really easy to make. I just used a piece of a plastic crate, like that one that I'm using in my sump, and uh, wire tied it to an air brick. This is the opposite one to the waterfall one. I don't know if you can see it. I mean, as it passes through, um, it encourages hair algae to grow on it. I've got hair algae down there in the sump, um, which grew on a little bit of brick, so a bit of live rock, so I'm just trying to encourage that um, onto it. At the moment, I'm not getting much success because I've got low nutrients in my tank anyway. And um, I'll run phosphate remover. Um, I just thought I'd show you my um, my sum and my algae that I have got growing under uh, high light, uh, um, low lighting, so it's quite concentrated. So there's my colour that has been running now for for a few weeks like this, and it's probably doubling in size. And uh, sorry, Cheeto and Calerpa as well which I've got growing. I find that having it built up higher into the, so the light's penetrating it more just by a simple device like that basket on the back of there actually increases the, the amount that actually gets the light so if, if you're having trouble with your, your algae growing and you want a quick fix then maybe that's for you. They're all DIY like um, also my phosphate <laughs> This is my phosphate media reactor. It's basically a row of phos inside a, a uh, row of phos bag. And as you can see, as the water comes out of my main tank, it's constantly tumbling inside there. So this is doing the exact same job as a phosphate reactor by tumbling it over. I mean, you can't see it, but if you just put your hand there, you feel it tumbling inside and moving off your fingers. So it's doing the exact same job as a phosphate remover and it's cost me nothing really, it's cost me the price of uh, my row of phos bag uh, uh, and my row of phos. So there's uh, a couple of DIY things that I've used and uh, I'm finding them to be successful so it might be worth um, if you're just starting out or on a bit of a budget thinking about stuff like that before you go and buy a media reactor. I mean, over here, the, I think they're about £70 with a pump, and that's cost me, I think, about 8 quid for the row of phos with a little bag that's included. I run two tablespoons of row of phos in there, and it keeps my tank phosphate free, and uh, also with this, so it's, uh, it's, it's a nice, it makes you happy when you've done something for yourself, I suppose, so, yeah. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and it's been good for you. Thanks for watching.